Hey guys, today I am here in my living room and I am doing a um, a new kind of style video and I thought that I would do something that is helpful for you gals that live in different temperature climates. I'm doing 25 cardigans 25 different ways. So I guess it's like a fall inspired type video, but it's gonna show you how I style 25 completely different cardigans 25 completely different ways. So hopefully you guys find this useful and let's do this. Okay, so for this first look, I'm taking a pretty fancy cardigan sweater. It's a light pink wheels and doll baby sweater. So I'm going to put it with a full circle skirt. I don't have a petticoat underneath it, but you can definitely add it. Um, and then I have these little mules. But the petticoat makes it a little bit younger looking, so if you want to stay sophisticated, do it without. And then this next look is this red, white, and blue cardigan. And I have just put a little stripey shirt underneath. And it's actually a tube top, but you'd never know because the cardigan covers it, which is my secret sneaky way of hiding my bra. And then these are just little high-waisted shorts and cute little red pumps. You can definitely do flats too, but I just like that red pumps kind of jazz it up a little bit. Then the next look is this black and white sweater cardigan, and these are actually little bows on it. You can't tell from here, but they are. And then I'm just wearing a basic black tee underneath, just a cotton tee, and then some pastel jeans. And this is just kind of a good basic kicking it around town. The shoes are little pastel saddle shoes by Bait Shoes, which is my one of my favorite new shoe companies that make really unique, unique kind of shoes. And then the next look is this mustard color cardigan, which I've actually tied at the waist, which is a good thing to do if you have long cardigans. And then I've put a gingham shirt underneath, and then I've just paired it with a little black high-waisted mini skirt and fishnets. Fishnets are great for when it's cold outside because you can wear um, flesh-colored tights underneath them, and they'll keep your legs warm. And then I'm just wearing little um, low-top creepers. The next outfit is this cardigan by Black Market Art, and it's just a black v-neck button-down with a really cool graphic on the back. So I've paired it with a stripy skirt and just a plain top underneath because the focus really is this cardigan. And then the shoes I'm wearing are these wedge creepers by Betty Page Shoes. I like to add some height wherever I can because I'm a shorty, and these are actually really comfortable shoes, which is nice because they make me tall, but I can still walk around in them all day long, except for right now where I'm stumbling. Then the next look is this red three-quarter sleeve cardigan and I have this little waist tie shirt but you can always tuck it in, tuck it in if you need to, um, if you don't like the waist tie. And then these little blue shorts and these little red patent leather shoes that are also by Bait Shoes. This is just a good casual outfit. Then this is another black market art cardigan. This one I'm wearing open in the front. It's a long slouchy cardigan. And um, you can wear the sleeves up or down depending on if it's cold or not. And I've paired this again with a stripy tube top and just some black pants that I've actually cuffed at the ankle. And I'm just wearing some ankle strap flats. If it's colder outside, you can wear your pants down and then wear them with shoes and socks. But this is more of a little um, fall, warmer weather look because the pants are rolled. Then this next cardigan is this stripey, kind of nautical inspired cardigan. It's gray. And then I've just put a really slouchy black tank top underneath. This is a really comfortable outfit. And then I'm just wearing these black stretch jeans and some black zippered heels. You can definitely wear flats if you want, but the heels just kind of fancy this outfit up a little bit. So it's kind of a fancy, casual, and it's hard to balance. So this next outfit is a cardigan by Steady Clothing. It's just a cute white cardigan with chest embellishments. You can wear it buttoned or unbuttoned, or even tied like the last sweater. And then the dress underneath is just um, another dress by Steady. And this is kind of just a way to fallize your summer and spring dresses. Just add a nice heavy cardigan and don't fall over. And I'm wearing these little gingham heels, and they're not super tall heels, which is nice also in the fall because they're not super uncomfortable. Then next, I'm wearing this black, um, kind of slouchy lace cardigan and a long, comfortable skirt. Um, I like an outfit like this for traveling. I do a lot of air travel, and so something comfortable like this, with some nice flat sandals, is perfect for being on an airplane because you stay warm, but you also look cute and you're comfortable. 
So the next outfit is another slouchy cardigan, and this is black, and as you can see, it's kind of sheer, so it's a little bit more lightweight, and I've put a nylon tank underneath it, and I'm wearing my favorite Steve Madden boots, and I'm falling over again. My balance is really bad today, and I'm wearing my favorite hat by Brixton. I love wearing slouchy cardigans and hats in the fall, especially it's my favorite thing. So here we have my favorite leopard cardigan. You see this a lot in my pictures. And I'm just wearing a slouchy black tank top underneath. And then those same pastel jeans, which I like to kind of mix and match with patterns and not patterns. And then my boots are by Steve Madden. So this is kind of a way to take your summer things, like your pastel jeans and your tank, and make them for fall. So then here is my, um, it's a cable knit sweater. It's kind of a heavier weight sweater, so I like to put it over the top of a little summer dress, and then I cover that with a belt to keep it closed. And it has pockets, which is awesome when it's cold outside. And then I'm just wearing these cute little heels. With outfits like this, you can also wear cute kind of sweater tights or whatever you want to keep yourself warm, but I'm just kind of wearing without right now. You can add the tights as it gets colder throughout the season and do a little butt shake. It helps keep you warm. So next we have this little salmon colored cable knit cardigan and this is my more vintage style outfit. I'm wearing a um, vintage plaid shirt tied at the waist with my cute little bait, they're actually little wing tips, and then um, my little vintage high waisted jeans. This is a great outfit for kicking it around town when you're still comfortable and nice and warm. And then this is just a black and white long slouchy cardigan over the top of a strapless black maxi dress. And then I'm wearing it with a white Panama hat and just some white sandals. This is more of a summer to fall or winter to spring outfit. Hey, what are you doing in here? Yep, that's Trevor. He's a turd. Yeah, back to the outfit. So this is my next outfit, and this is a just a patterned cardigan, and I like to mix colors and patterns and textures. So this color isn't necessarily something you'd think would match, but peaches and beiges and nudes go with everything. And I've ma uh, mixed a matching scarf and then two-tone shoes that match the shirt. So the cardigan is kind of the one thing that kind of sticks out, but I love mixing and matching, and it's really cute for fall too. So this next outfit is a three-quarter sleeve cardigan. I love doing cardigans that match shirts because it looks like it's one piece and it takes your kind of light summer shirt from summer to fall and it kind of warms it up a little bit. And then I'm just wearing some slouchy pirate boots and then my black leggings. So this is a good, super comfy outfit. And then here's another casual one. This is just a blue and beige light knit sweater. I've just put a tank top underneath a comfortable pair of jeans, um, just some basic flats, and then I'm wearing my Brixton hat again. Well, it's another one, but I love my Brixton hats. Then this is a little bit fancier. This is a little pink cardigan. It's got little cute bows on the front, and I've matched it with a patterned skirt and then a vintage top underneath, and this is just a way to kind of jazz up that summer outfit with some little sparkly heels also, but this will make your summer outfit just a little warmer. And again, you can totally wear this outfit with tights. Black tights would look really cute, or even like a nude fishnet. And then this is a polka dot cardigan. I've buttoned it at the top because I think it looks really cute and it's a way to keep a little bit more modest when you're showing a lot of booby. And I paired it with some two-tone heels. And I just love to take a little black dress and kind of jazz it up with accessories. Cardigans are a great way to make a basic dress a little fancier. Here's an unexpected way to wear a vintage cardigan. This is actually a vintage 1950s cardigan, but it's got a really unique color. And so I've paired it with some knee highs and some wedges and this little mini skirt that's really metallic. So it kind of takes a super sassy outfit that might otherwise be a little too sexy and it kind of grandmas it down a little bit. Then this is just my little anchor cardigan by Steady. I'm wearing it with a Peter Pan collar shirt. I love Peter Pan collars over the top of cardigans. I think they're really cute. I'm wearing a little nylon hair bow. I'm just wearing these little wedge espadrilles which are really comfortable and easy to wear and um, a little mini skirt. So this is just another cute little casual around the town outfit. 
And then here is one of my favorite comfortable outfits. This is my little cardigan with pockets, and I'm just wearing a super comfy tank top underneath it, some stripy pants, and my comfortable boots. And this is kind of my staple when it's fall or winter when I'm running errands. I still wanna look cute, I still wanna be comfortable. I love the stripy pants. This is one of my heaviest sweaters, and it's just a wool knit. I'm wearing it again with my Brixton hat. I'm wearing just a slouchy tank top underneath. If you wanna be a little bit warmer, definitely wear a t-shirt. These are my favorite uh, winter boots. They are heeled, which obviously, if you wanna be more comfortable, wear flats. But um, like I said, you can wear a little bit heavier shirt underneath. And then this is a way to match vintage with vintage. So this is a vintage cardigan with a vintage dress. And I have paired it again with my sparkly shoes. You can wear it buttoned at the neck. You can wear sweater clips. Um, I like with vintage to keep in the same color scheme because it feels more traditional. Um, and I'm wearing these little uh, glass heels, little plastic heels, whatever, heels. So that was it. That was my 25 cardigans, 25 ways. I hope you liked it. I hope you found some new interesting ideas. And as always, if you have new ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys.